Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are talking about my favorite mixes from January. Uh, and it's something I've wanted to do. So every month this year, I'd like to do a video at the end of the month, my favorite mixes from that month. I actually have a few different monthly videos that I wanna do, and I will talk about those in maybe the next video. But for today, we'll just talk about the monthly mixes. And I also have a couple of new paintings in this shop, so I'll show you those at the end. But uh, I really, I love to mix different colors and I am always kind of, every month I seem to be finding either a new mix or a different thing I love. So um, I haven't really had a chance to paint very much this month. Um, I think we were all pretty hopeful for the new year, but it seems to be um, pretty similar so far. So anyway, I have not had a chance to do as many of the videos as I had wanted. And uh, this is something that I'm really excited and happy to do. So um, I love sharing colors and color mixing with you guys. And today we're just going to go through basically because there's not like sort of a lot of new mixes we're going to try some of my favorites with the schminker uh, ones that we've been working with so you can see here in the middle those are the um, gold schminker this is the palette that I got and in the middle there there's four like of the gold silver and champagne gold um, and rose gold I think they were in this limited edition palette from Jackson's a few Christmases ago and I really love the quality and I loved you know the palette I really do hope they offer it again but uh, we're gonna just work with some of these mixes today you can see here there's something special coming as well in a week or two uh, but today we're gonna just look at the Schmincke silver and the gold and I know that they're fairly accessible and easy to get and they and they re-wet beautifully and they are really lovely you know to combine with your paints they're fairly affordable as well so I'm gonna look at some of these in place of the um, Daniel Smith ones that I get and we'll just see what we come up with so the first thing here we're swatching is the Potter's pink and the Schmincke silver and you can see it creates the uh, same pink champagne that I really love from the um, pearlescent white and the potter's pink from Daniel Smith so um, that is one of my all-time favorite mixes I use it all the time and I really love it and you can see how you know how well that replicates it it's it's basically you can use the Schmincke silver or the pearlescent white interchangeably is what I'm trying to say and then the one that we just did the green one that was the chromium brilliant by Schmincke with the Schmincke silver and it creates a similar thing to Fuchsite uh, so I will show you I'll swatch the Fuchsite next to it soon so one of my other favorite mixes is uh, Sedona Daniel Smith Sedona and Holbein shell pink and so what I'm using here is the Schmincke English Venetian red and the Windsor and Newton Potter's pink and you can see you get these really sumptuous mixes Okay, so this next one we're doing is the Schmincke Mahogany Brown and the Silver. I really love the Mahogany Brown. It's got a beautiful uh, understated separation in it. These are really, really soft and lovely for shadows. So instead of just using, you know, a black or a grey for shadows, especially in roses or flowers and things like that, you can use um, these soft colours. And so to that mix, I add the silver again and you get the, again, a really complex, beautiful shimmer color. The other thing I wanted to say was uh, at the top or bottom of your screen, there will be a gear or three dots. So you can see here, I'm just putting the fuchsite down, but um, somewhere you'll be able to press to change the playback settings to a higher quality i always upload in high definition and because the videos are so long i think it's really worth your while to 
um, change that to high definition so that you can, you know, just see, view the videos um, nicer and you'll be able to see the colors more crisply and like the sparkle and everything. Okay, so I wanted to mix the Peril and Violet with a few things. I really like the Peril and Violet. So first I mixed it with the Br Brilliant Blue Violet and it just made a really uh, more of a muted purple. And then the Peril and Violet with the silver in varying degrees is really beautiful until you get to the softest uh, shimmer color that you can make from it. It's really lovely. And so again, you could use this in skies, uh, you know, evening skies. And I would also use this in a face, in shadows or contour areas as well. So if you've seen my Daniel Smith video um, with the iridescent blue silver and how I used that to shade her face, I would use this Perlin Violet and Silver mix in the same way. So now I am mixing the Perlin Violet with the gold. And this is really stunning as well, but I wanted to also let you know, so I have used the gold here. Um, the gold is pretty bright and pretty vibrant, which, you know, could be what you want. But if you mix the gold and the silver together, you can get like the champagne gold. So if you see there, those four in the middle, so not this gold, but the one to the right of it that's the champagne gold that they provided in this palette and if you mix the gold and the silver that's pretty much what you come up with so it's a super gorgeous color and I'm kind of trying out the gold here in a few different mixes and different iterations but you can use the you know a more soft subtle version so I just added a bit of the sepia reddish brown into that perlin and gold watered down mix but you can um, use, you know, mix the gold and the silver to create that champagne color. And that's more how I kind of like to use it. So we will do a video in a couple of weeks about shimmer colors and how I pick them and why and all of that sort of stuff. And we'll get into that more. Um, but yeah, I do like a sort of a softer shimmer. So this is the Scarlet Red with the gold. But you always want to kind of try and balance shimmer with some earth colors or some neutrals or some um, just more. So this is the green earth and the sepia reddish brown. But you, you just want to have some balance. So you don't want a painting and then all of a sudden from nowhere there's just like this, um, you know, glitter. You're kind of trying to move it into the painting so that it looks like it could be um, coming from the shadows or it's coming from you know somewhere that it, it makes sense and it's grounded I mean you'll see in the end sometimes like with my fairy tale so far I just went all out sparkle I just felt like it really needed that but sometimes uh, mostly I just I like to have the shimmer be subtle and seamless a little bit i also just uh, swatched the neutral tint with the silver you can see there so that creates like a suga like color so that is really pretty as well and again um you know if you have a neutral tint and the pearl white so you don't necessarily need all these colors i'm just showing you what's available you know I love it when you guys send me photos or tag me in mixing photos that you've done because I only have, you know, access to a limited amount of colors, but there are so many colors. So, you know, try and use what you have. You've probably, you've bought it because you love it. And so use it and mix the colors together and, you know, try and find these really special uh, nuances of color and these special moments that you can create in the paintings so that was the Naples, Naples yellow reddish and the gold 
but um, you can find so I will do just a really quick sketch in a second of a mandarin so I keep showing you these mandarins um, in the videos and I love that so if you look on the hashtag her billowing heart paints um, you'll see a lady who has taken the shot of the mandarin and she has um, painted it in several different versions and it's really lovely so I am so pleased about that and I I keep showing you the shots because I keep bringing them up here wanting to paint them and then I just don't get the chance so I love that you guys take the initiative to do things like that and um, let's see but I'm just what is this this is the Naples yellow red and the perlin violet wasn't my favorite but um, I'll just show you here a little just a super quick sketch again like I said I just I have not had any time to kind of sit down and just um, you know paint and just have a really nice sort of afternoon painting I have so many videos that I want to do for you guys but I just I just can't get everything done but I will just show you quickly the like a little sketch of the mandarin and how I would add shimmer into that so this is one that I really love this is the Naples yellow red and the potter's pink and the gold so again if you have like the Jean Brouillet number two or something like that with the potter's pink and a gold as well Okay, so one of the things I wanted to show you here is that I'm going to use the gold as little accents on top of the actual mandarin. So if I was doing this in a real painting, I would obviously be more careful and I would dilute the gold so it wouldn't be so uh, bright. And I might mix some of that with the silver and mix some of it with the, um, like the orange. So to create it a little bit more of a seamless effect, but... I'm just kind of showing you here how you can take these little accents of shimmer and incorporate it into your paintings and I really love doing this like kind of leaving a little surprise uh, glint of light in here because when you're using the watercolors it's such a lovely experience and it's a really really nice process and I I want to leave that kind of um, feeling in the painting for the viewer so they get a little surprise well I hope that makes sense but anyway so I last night I just really needed to sit down and just um, you know to put something on paper so this one here I really love so these are both in my shop this is the kind of thing that I want to do on a larger scale and really take you know a couple of months to build a beautiful um, big painting and this one here is this one just kind of emerged this is a little fairy tale sofa so uh, it's got the castle and I just feel like you know that is something we all need at the minute so um, just a little bit of uh, brightness we have like the floral wreaths and garlands there at the top and I just it just sort of eventuated it was supposed to be similar to the other one but with a bit more of like a burgundy in the rose but I'm mm, not sure what happened there but anyway um, so these are on cotton paper I don't use any fixatives but there are so many layers and layers worked into these so um, just be careful not to put your fingers in it and but I'm pretty sure it will all sort of stay put um, so it's on cotton paper, hand deckled um, cotton paper. It's like a really soft, soft, barely there pink. And these are six by eight, so they're really lovely. And I 
that's it for me for today guys so i will see you soon have a great weekend bye